So what's going on guys, the truck guy here. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the DX344 double lock folding knife from Coast. Guys, I haven't heard a whole lot about Coast, but they do have some knives at Home Depot. So I wanted to pick one up for you. And guys, a lot of times they're in stores at Home Depot. So super interesting, you know, I mainly have been reviewing a lot of utility knives, so I've been kind of in that utility knife sector a lot with, you know, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, a few others. But I do like the sporty knives, and that kind of gives you an additional angle to your knife collection when you're not just looking at utility knives, but you're throwing some regular knives into the mix, some sporty knives, some folding knives, because guys, as you know, the utility knife blade is not that long, so for some different projects, you need different knives. But I picked this up for $9.97 at Home Depot, so it really is not going to set you back that far either, and I've really found some awesome features on this knife, so guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video, and let's do it. Alright guys, so the Coast DX344 double lock folding knife. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. It's got the one hand open. It's also got the double lock, which is a super interesting feature that, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and take a look at. It's got the textured G10 handle, stainless steel frame. On the back, guys, you've got your stainless steel blade, the ambidextrous uh, one hand open. You've got that double lock. You've also got a liner lock. You've got your pocket clip, your nylon handle, and your lanyard loop. So what I like about Coast is they're giving us all the features up front so we don't need to you know, search them out. We don't need to find them. So that is pretty cool and I'm liking what I'm seeing from Coast, but let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging and see what we think. So we'll take it out of the packaging and there is a little, you know, safety tab up top. So Coast is looking out for us. But guys, we'll live dangerously. We'll review it without, uh, you know, our safety tab on there. Right out of the box, guys, it's feeling good in the hand. And I really like that nylon handle. I could see that coming into play. You know, if you're working outside, if you're working in some moisture, it is nice to have that texture and that kind of nylon handle. If you're working with the metal, sometimes it can slide out of your hands. It can get, uh, you know, rather slippery. So with a knife like this, a 3.5 inch knife, with, which has pretty good length to it, you want a good handle that feels good in the hand. And that's really got some nice grip on it, but nothing rubber. So nothing that's going to wear away over time, which is cool. Um, and again, guys, 3.5 inches on that blade, that's really going to give you some, some solid length to work with. So if you've got some tougher projects where you need something more than a utility knife, that 3.5 inch blade is really going to come in handy for you. In terms of the locking mechanism, you've got a liner lock on there. And that's an extremely strong liner lock. But one of the cool things about this Coast knife is it's got a double lock, so... You've got your liner lock engaged, and that's a pretty strong liner lock from what I can see. No wiggle, no wobble, but you can also activate that double lock on the back side. So now you can't even fold the knife down even if you press over that liner lock. So you've got two levels of locking insurance on this knife. The question, you know, really is, is that necessary? You know, do we want to add another button to our knife? Is that going to impact reliability down the road? Is this button going to break? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this button. I mean, I see some utility of the double lock, but at the same time, is it worth the space? Is it worth having another button up here? You know, I think that's questionable because I Coast really seems to be bringing a really solid liner lock to the table. But I think over time, you know, maybe that double lock comes in handy if your liner lock starts to wear down, something of that nature. 
I don't really see it coming up, but uh, if you're working some tough projects, throwing that double lock down is only going to make you feel better about the knife. And, you know, if you're working at some weird angles, I could see that coming into play. So the double lock seems to work really well. It's nice and easy up top. And, you know, it works well with that liner lock. So nice job by Coast. One of the other things is they've got the ambidextrous one hand open, so for righties, go at it with your thumb. It's a little stiff. I'm guessing it will, you know, loosen up over time as well, but that one hand open is nice, guys. It doesn't forcibly lock down, so just keep that in mind. You know, you get some indication when it's fully closed, but nothing huge. The one thing I might suggest for Coast in the future is to have, you know, some kind of nub here on the, the blade itself. I do like that when I'm closing a one hand open, because that nub will then hit your thumb before the actual blade does. I've, I've done some damage to my thumbs, guys, specifically my right thumb, folding down these knives, you know, comment down below, maybe it's just inexperience on my part, but... You know, if you're throwing the knife, the one hand up and down quick, sometimes you can get caught a little bit here, and it's not fun, let's be honest. But some of the sporting knives I've used in the past have a little nub here, and that will always hit your, your thumb before you're getting into the blade itself. So I prefer that little bit of extra safety feature on the blades, but... You know, for sure comment down below if you like it, if you don't like it, because I'm kind of curious what you guys think. A few other features, you've got the, the belt clip, the pocket clip on back, and it's fairly tight. So, it's not, you know, as tight as some of the Milwaukee's, but Coast is, is putting together a good belt clip here. And then the lanyard loop, it's not overly large, so you're just only going to be able to get a small tie or a small string through there, so... Nothing crazy, but they've got us covered on the lanyard loop. So I would say, guys, if you're going out to pick up a sporting knife, this is definitely solid. And for $9.97 at Home Depot, I'm not sure you're going to find a better sporting knife than this. You know, style-wise, it's a little thin. You know, it's almost got kind of a, a dagger feel to it, which, let's be honest, that's kind of cool as well. But, you know, it's... It's thinner, a um, little bit more aerodynamic, so definitely I like it, but it may not appeal to some guys that want a little bit more bulky, you know, um, type of knife. You know, the Tonto blades that you guys see, this isn't a Tonto blade, uh, but the Tonto blades, they've got some more angles to them, some more rigidity, so that may appeal to, you know, the eye of certain guys more than others, so... It's a pretty standard looking knife here from Coast, um, but I like it. It's almost kind of got a, a military feel to it, um, you know, kind of a special ops, what have you. I do like it, and for $9.97, you can't go too wrong, guys. If you use it a few times, you're good, so... So I like it from Coast. Definitely check out the DX344, and... Guys, comment down below if you want me to review some more sporting knives, because I can do that, and we can, you know, get some more sporting knives in with the utility knives, see what you guys like best. So that's it, guys. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, we'll talk to you on the next video.